If you're ever in a situation where you need to make a quick but nice business impression, I can't think of a better way than to pull Lenovo's ThinkPad. This thing is the embodiment of corporate culture after all. With that said, today we're reviewing the latest T14 Generation 3 ThinkPad, and the configuration we have here in particular is rocking Intel's 1255U processor. We also have Intel's integrated Iris XC graphics, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory, and a dual channel configuration. We also have a relatively limited 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Additionally, we do have Wi Fi 6E as well as Bluetooth 5. Five standards on board and finally this laptop does have a 14 inch full HD plus display. Now there is a lot to talk about and we're really going to get into the nitty gritty details to see if the T14 is the right business laptop for you. So let's get into it. The ThinkPad comes in a generic cardboard box that says think on it. I guess in this case they mean think inside the box. Lame jokes aside of course. Well, once you open up the box, you're going to find a few things. Firstly, of course, you have the laptop itself, remove all that protective packaging, and here it is. Now, past that, you do have a standard 65 watt charging adapter. However, I'm immediately happy to see that you have USB-C charging included right out of the box. You also, of course, have the standard wall outlet charging cable piece. And finally, an envelope inside which you'll find the quick start warranty and regulation information. Versatility and durability are the key elements of what makes the ThinkPad so special for a lot of people. As such, you do have a chassis that consists entirely of a magnesium alloy build. As a result, this thing is highly dent resistant and also can withstand a lot more pressure than an aluminum alloy or plastic build can. When the end result, this thing is designed to take as much wear and tear as possible in the long run. This also means you have a relatively light weight of approximately 3 pounds, making this a great portable laptop. Now starting with the top side, again you'll notice a smooth nearly textureless flat surface over here to keep that business appeal. However, Lenovo isn't shy about telling you this is a ThinkPad as that's what they label it in one corner and also having the Lenovo badging on the top corner. On a laptop as utilitarian as the ThinkPad, IO port configuration really matters, and I'm happy to say that for the most part, it's all there. So on one side, you have a RJ45 or Ethernet port, you have two fully loaded Thunderbolt 4 ports with, of course, power delivery. You also have a HDMI 2.0 port, a USB-A super speed port, and a good old headphone jack. On the other side, you have a Kensington lock slot, you have one more USB-A super speed port, and finally, a heat exhaust vent. Overall, I think it's a pretty good setup, though I wish it didn't cheap out with the HDMI 2.0 and should have just gone with a HDMI 2.1 instead to really seal the deal. But here we are. The bottom side also consists of a similar magnesium alloy finish, making it super durable. You'll also notice there are a ton of air intake vents on this thing, but don't be fooled, most of the cooling mechanism is mostly on the left side, the rest of the vents are mostly in a passive capacity. Hmm, are you still here? Hmm? You are, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanna take a quick minute to ask if you are enjoying the content, please consider subscribing to this channel. It genuinely helps me grow more than you'll ever know and is the backbone and the foundation of this channel. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Let's continue. Upon unfolding the laptop, you are immediately greeted by the same high quality materials that you find on the exterior. Though you do have a rather limited amount of palm rest space here, but in all fairness, it is just a 14 inch laptop after all. Now the trackpad is a real item of significance here. So I'm happy to report you have a decent amount of surf real estate, though oddly enough, Lenovo went with a plastic surface finish rather than a glass one, which means you do have a nominal amount of flex, but it's within the realms of reasonability and the clicks are pretty tactile and well calibrated. On top of that, Lenovo provides you with dedicated left and right click keys on the T14, which I absolutely love. The keyboard on the ThinkPad is by far its most superior feature. In fact, I think this is the best keyboard on any laptop 
period. The reason for that? Well, you have well-labeled keycaps that have a decent amount of surface area per keycap to minimize typo. They're sturdy. They don't feel cheap or finicky. On top of that, the arrow keys are not compressed. The keyword is, of course, fully backlit. The spacing between each keycap is deliberately planned for optimization. And while you don't get a 10 keypad, that's totally normal for a 14-inch laptop. You also have a dedicated power button, which serves as a built-in fingerprint scanner. But the real epitome of perfection here is the actual typing experience. Every single keystroke has the right amount of key travel. It feels tactile, nimble, but also subtle at the same time. Whether it's typing a email or coding, it just feels great overall. And this keyboard is a solid A+. Right above the keyboard, you have a grill, and this encompasses the stereo speaker setup. I will do a sound test a little later in the video. Now, the hinge quality is also top-notch, so you have a two-tier mechanism. It doesn't wobble, it's super sturdy, and it can do a full 180-degree tilt, which is pretty impressive for not being a touch display. Now, in terms of the display fitting, you have a fairly thin chin at the bottom. You also have a very thin bezels in the corner that make it look like a modern laptop. You do have a slightly thick forehead, but it's all fair because you have this awesome full HD webcam in the middle, and this thing is great in both low light settings and daylight settings alike. Lenovo has really optimized this webcam so you can use it with confidence for those Zoom meetings where you gotta look shiny. The display on this laptop is a bit of a mixed bag. So on one side, you have a highly respectable 1920 by 1200 full HD resolution, which equates to a nice 16 by 10 aspect ratio. You have a standard refresh rate of 60 Hertz. Additionally, this is a IPS panel with fantastic viewing angles. You also have a matte finish screen here, though you have no touch functionality. It's also worth noting, you do have a total peak brightness of 300 nits, which is somewhat disappointing given that this laptop is supposed to be versatile, it would have been nice to have 400 nits so you can tackle those super bright settings more easily. But the real disappointment here is the fact that you still have a 45% NTSC rated screen or approximately 56% sRGB rated screen, which means colors just don't look as accurate or vivid. I know it's a business laptop and I get it, but again, a lot of mid-range laptops in a similar price point do have higher rated color screens, so that's just a missed opportunity for Lenovo here. In terms of performance, firstly keep in mind, being the average broke man that I am, I opted to get the cheapest i5-1255U processor, however, you can get this in a higher end i7 processor. With that out of the way, Day-to-day -day performance is pretty nice. Everything from web browsing to crunching up Word documents or number crunching or even writing up emails is gonna be a super snappy process as you might have guessed. Even more intensive activities like coding or 3D modeling are very much possible thanks to the healthy 16 gigabytes of RAM we have here. However, if you push this laptop too much by doing stuff like let's say 4K video editing, it does start struggling even with the additional RAM. A lot of that is because this laptop prioritizes efficiency over performance, which means you do get the occasional frame drop and slower than usual render times. Now, I don't know why you would possibly do this, but in case you are curious, yes, you can run games on this laptop at a casual capacity. Fortnite, for example, will run at a healthy 30 frames per second at lower settings. But again, why would you want to do that? It's like bringing a basketball to a soccer match. Just probably not the best laptop for it. Given that this is a highly efficient laptop, its thermals are representative of that. So for example, under unrealistic peak loads, this laptop only hits a average surface temperature of just 41 degrees Celsius, making it super cool. More realistic sustained loads will yield you around 35 degrees Celsius. Now on top of that, it's also super quiet. The loudest this laptop will ever get is 40 decibels with its single fan setup, but you rarely hit that number, again making this a very quiet and professional tool. The T14 Gen 3 comes with a standard 39 watt per hour battery, which respectively gives you about 10 hours of battery life usage, which really isn't too shabby. If you get the higher end configurations, you can get up to a 52 watt per hour battery, which of course adds a couple more hours to your overall charge. Now the speakers, given that this is a business laptop, aren't half bad. In fact, they're pretty good. There's very little distortion and they sound pretty crisp and clear. Have a quick listen for your I gotta stay awake, stay alive, it's 
With a estimated retail price of 1050 US dollars for this particular configuration and higher for well more expensive configurations it's a lot of money to ask for, but in return, the ThinkPad really does do what it sets out to do. It gives you a durable and versatile machine. Everything from that magnesium alloy build to that fantastic trackpad and keyboard, to the high quality webcam on here, those are all tools that someone who's specifically doing a business oriented use case can appreciate. Now, if you have a more general use case, let's say you do a little bit of gaming, a little bit of photo editing combined with, let's say some Word document crunching, you may be better off with a general purpose mid-range laptop Top. But for a more professional environment, the ThinkPad is a fantastic tool and companion to have with only a handful of flaws, which I mentioned in this video. Let me know what you think of the latest T14 Gen 3 and whether or not you'd be interested in getting one. As always, if you guys enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to this channel. It genuinely helps me grow more than you'll ever know. And thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.